So we'll start a journey into data structures and algorithms using sorting and searching algorithms. So first let me explain what searching and sorting are. And then we'll, we'll ask this question, why should we bother about these very simple tasks, right? But before we go into that, first let me define what sorting is and what searching is. So I'll try to keep this example very, very simple and I'll give you some real world examples so that you can connect the dots, right? So let's take the sorting, right? Imagine if I'm given an array A, right? Let's assume I'm given a very simple array like this, right? An array of numbers, right? So let's assume I have an array of 1, 3, 2, 7, 6, 4, 8, 9, okay? This array is unordered, is unordered, which means there is no specific order amongst the elements of this array. For example, here 1 is less than or equal to 3, but 3 is greater than 2. So you cannot say that this array is sorted. So what does sorted in English mean? English sorted basically means that it's either ordered in ascending or descending order. For example, let's assume I modify this array A into array A dash. Let's say, let's just say, suppose if I, if I reorganize or reorder, if I reorder these elements such that the smallest element is in, in this cell, and the largest element is here. If I re just reorder them, what do I get? 1, 2, 3, 4, I don't have 5 here, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So if you look at the array A dash, right? look at this array A dash, what do I have? A1 dash, which is the first element, let's say. Okay? Okay, or let's call this 0th element. If you're using the C programming language or Java programming language, all the array indices start at 0. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7th element, right? There are other programming, or you can always start your array indexing with 1, right? So here your A dash 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So A dash 0th element is less than or equal to A dash 1th element here, because 1 is less than or equal to 2 which is less than or equal to a2 dash, which is less than or equal to a3 dash, so on, so forth, a7 dash, right? So if an array is like this, where you have all the elements, you have all the elements of the array in an, uh, in an increasing order, okay? This is called a sorted array. So this is called a sorted array, which is sorted in increasing order or ascending order increasing or ascending order. Similarly, there is something called as descending order. Suppose if I have the array a double dash, okay, this array, right, if I if I organize my elements this way, 7, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. So this array is also sorted. This array is also sorted, but this is sorted in descending order. This is sorted in descending order. Right? Whenever we say sorting, we de by default, if you do not say ascending or descending, we by default mean ascending order. So in descending order, what do I have? A dash double zero, sorry, A double dash zero is greater than or equal to A one double dash is greater than or equal to A two double dash, so on, so forth, A seven double dash, right? So here note that when I say A zero, again, this is a clarification here. When I say a0 dash, what I mean here is a dash 0th element. If you're using the C programming language syntax, okay, or Java or Python, right? So this is the syntax, right? So whenever I say a3 double dash here, what I mean is a double dash third element. Okay, if I say a2 here, what do I mean? A second element, that's what I mean. Okay, this is the mathematical way of writing it. And this is the programming way of writing it. That's it. This is the programmatic way of writing it. This is the typical mathematical notation of writing it. We will use both these notations extensively throughout data structures and algorithms. Because data structures and algorithms and even searching, sorting, all of these things are very mathematically designed. Right? For many algorithms in, in data structures and algorithms, they're actually designed by mathematicians for use in computers. Most early computer scientists were mathematicians and physicists. Right? Okay, having said that, now we understood what sorting is, right? Sorting is the task of rearranging. Okay, it's a task of rearranging. 
rearranging the elements that you have in something here we are using an array right so in this context rearranging the elements of this array a in either ascending order or descending order that's what is sorting okay mathematically you can write it as this mathematically you can say rearranging the elements of this set right or this array in such a way that the first element is less than equal to the second element is less than equal to the third element and so on and so forth this is the mathematical definition very simple nothing very fancy here this is what sorting is right now what is searching let's go to searching searching this term is very very simple right the simplest form of understanding searching is this imagine if i am given an al an array a of some numbers right so let's say 1 3 2 7 8 9 4 6 something like this right and now if i if i'm given a search query let's call that as s okay if i'm given s equals to 3 and my question here my question here is does s which is equal to 3 is s basically is it in my array a is s which is element 3 the value of 3 is it present in my array a right what is the simplest way i can check my s with each of these values okay and whenever i obtain the same value first i'll check 3 with 1 right first i'll check this 1 and 3 are not the same next i'll go here i'll check here yes then i'll return and say so this is the question my answer for that question is yes the element s which is equal to 3 exists it exists in my array a at position right so let's assume we are using the c based indexing or java based indexing so this is 0 this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 4 5 6 7 it is present at position 1 these are the types of questions that we can answer in searching again please note that the examples that i'm giving here are the simplest examples i'll give you more real world examples please bear with me okay this is the most simple way of understanding sorting and searching or defining sorting and searching right sorting basically means rearranging the elements of an array in a uh, in either a ascending order or a descending order in the case of searching you are given a search query number and you have to determine if this number is present in a given array or not that's what searching is okay enough of the definitions of these two searching and sorting why should you bother about them first let's look at some applications then i'll come back to why bother about them also right suppose if i am on amazon okay i'm again searching for headphones when i'm searching for headphones okay i might want to sort look at this look at this that you have here in the top right of amazon search queries here I can sort the prices from low to high. So the moment I click on this, I get all of my headphones sorted by price, which means the cheapest headphones will be there at the top. Right? The cheapest headphones will come at the top and the costliest will go to the bottom. This makes sense if I don't want to splurge and spend too much money. right? So here you see sorting. Here you see sorting by price from low to high or high to low. The customers who want to buy a very expensive pair of headphones so low to high is your ascending order no and high to low is your descending order so sorting is something that all e-commerce sites all e-commerce platforms like amazon walmart flipkart all of them enable similarly i can also sort by for example by customer reviews by average customer review so those products which are reviewed very favorably by customers with very high rating, I might want to see them at the top. Of course, nobody wants to see the worst products which are rated the lowest at the top ever. right? So I can choose how I want to sort these results. right? So sorting is something that we often perform here. Similarly, if you're booking a flight ticket or a train ticket or a bus ticket, for example, I'm on a very popular website called Make My Trip in India. right? Suppose if I'm sorting it, I can choose to sort by price. Here I've sorted things by price, right? Because I'm price sensitive. Or you can sort by departure time. 
at what time are the flights departing this is sorting by time this is sorting by arrival this is sorting by price right so if you're booking any ticketing system any ticketing system be it be movie tickets flight tickets train tickets rail tickets uh, uh, your any ticket oftentimes you want to sort things by price if there are multiple price points at which you can achieve the task right this is another very simple application right google itself look at this when google searches for if i search for a simple term called data structures google has almost these many results these are the number of results that are matching this search query so this is my search query and every document or every web page on the internet is google's uh, array if you think about it right every web page web page 1 web page 2 web page 3 there are millions and billions and billions of web pages here so now given this search query i have to find which of these web pages contain these terms and which are relevant to my search google also sorts look at this amongst these many results many many millions of results google has to pick and sort and rank the first result here the best result this is what google thinks is the best search result it ranks it at position 1 the second best search result that it thinks is ranked at 2 this is the third result this is the fourth result so google is also sorting or ordering my search results in such a way that the best search result is at the top this is something all the companies do every day right this a google search is actually a sort of the results that you get are actually sorted based on some measure of what google thinks are th are the most relevant search results that you have here right so your sorting and searching are pervasive they're they're everywhere even your facebook right let me give an example when facebook recommends friends to you right if facebook says here is a person add as friend or ignore here is a second friend add as friend ignore third friend okay add ignore so on so forth facebook also sorts these people by the chance or by the by the probability that this person is going to be your friend because facebook wants to show the people who are most likely to be your friends at the start and least likely at the bottom because you may not even read all of them no if you think about them so facebook also sorts your friend recommendation facebook also sorts your friend recommendations they sort it every day by to ensure that the person who has the most chance of being your friend is at the top and the least chance at the bottom so facebook is sorting your friend recommendation results every day right and search is straight forward right if i'm searching for any product on amazon when i search for bluetooth okay or when i'm searching on the internet for anything right using google search even facebook search right you could be searching for a friend of your for a friend of yours from college school or by name or or your or your family friend right so searching and sorting are everywhere in computer science okay i've just shown you a very small subset of examples the most important thing on why typical data structures and algorithms whenever you learn data structures and algorithms there is a lot of focus on sorting and searching algorithms why it's it's clear that yes it's clear that searching and sorting are are there in the real world at many places but there are more reasons than this you can think of searching and sorting as the two most basic operations these are extremely basic operations these are extremely basic operations for example when you learn mathematics right as a kid the basic operations are addition subtraction multiplication and division actually multiplication is repeated addition right if you think about it so these are the basic operations on which all of algebra is based on all of your everything that you do lots of things that you do right everything from banking uh, anything anything right all of that is based on this simple four operations similarly lot of things lot of stuff again we learn this we learn this throughout this course right as we progress through data structures and algorithms you'll understand that sorting and searching are the extremely basic operations that are there everywhere 
and equally importantly lot of data structures and algorithms courses use sorting and searching because we can introduce we can introduce many concepts many interesting ideas there are many many ideas in data structures and algorithms we'll come to that okay don't worry about them there is something called as greedy algorithms right there is something called divide and conquer algorithms there are some things called dynamic programming algorithms many of these algorithms don't worry about these terms we'll learn all of them by the end of this course right we'll introduce many of these concepts using the simple task of sorting and searching and you can think of sorting and searching as the most basic operations there are two advantages to it they form the most basic operations on which more complex things can be built number one number two is the very simple tasks using which we can introduce very interesting concepts lots of real world concepts can be explained using these two very simple seemingly trivial stuff but that's the beauty of data structures algorithms on the surface these two top these two topics might seem like trivial why even bother about them but as you learn just in the next few hours of this course using these two concepts you can learn lots of nice beautiful ideas in programming data structures and algorithms right so we'll start off everything with sorting algorithms and we'll introduce whatever data structure is needed we'll introduce it as we go we don't want to go in a very textbookish fashion of course there are some textbooks which are brilliant by the way but we are trying to take you through a journey here our job here is to take you through the journey of discovery of data structures and algorithms and how they are useful how we can solve many real world problems using these data structures and algorithms so we'll start our journey with simple stuff like sorting right very simple stuff it will be fun it will be a joy ride trust me